Hi friends, welcome to my channel. I'm Arpita Karva and in this video, I will be answering your questions related to TGT PGT examination. If you are confused about the correct order of answering the question or worried about the correct subject sequence, I'm going to answer it all. If you are wondering whether you should go for grammar first or literature first or confused about the target score, you'll get all of your questions answered by the end of this video. And that's my promise. We will look at the right approach to solve the paper so that it will help you boost your marks while we all know that any insufficient approach can cause you to lose valuable marks in the TGT PGT exam. If you are new to this channel then please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon so that you never miss an update. We are proud to share that we are India's largest growing YouTube channel in the field of UGC net TGT PGT exam preparation right now having maximum number of subscribers. So let us start by looking at the first important tip that I have for all of you and that is to avoid silly mistakes. Many times I've seen students lose out 10 to 15 marks due to silly mistakes. I have seen a variety of silly mistakes being made by students. In numerical question they sometimes note down the wrong digit while solving the question. On the other hand some students mark the wrong answer in OMR sheet even when they know the correct answer and they have seen that in the question paper. Hence, you need to be extra cautious regarding the silly mistakes. Whenever you mark an answer, please recheck the question number. The answer you have chosen and the answer you've marked in the OMR sheet should be the same. Most of the silly mistakes happen when you try to quickly solve the questions out of the fear of losing time. In such haste, many times you do not read the question correctly and miss out on the important words such as except not correct. These words, if not paid attention to, can change the direction of your answer. For example, which amongst the following is not a play written by John Galsworthy? And you have four options. You did not read the word not in the question and you end up picking the play you are most familiar with. That is Justice. Because in your head, John Galsworthy's play is Justice but you did not read the other options, it will only be later that you'll realize that the other options were also plays written by John Galsworthy and the question inquired for which was not written by John Galsworthy. So it is very important to read the questions carefully. Make sure you understand the question well, read it twice and carefully read the options too. Another important thing is to always attempt the question in one go. Do not take an approach where you revisit a question again and again and keep on changing your answers every time you revisit the question. Instead, take 30 seconds, patiently read the question, all the options, mark it and then move ahead. Hence, to summarize this first tip, double check the question while reading it, double check your answers before entering them in the OMR and be aware of any potential silly mistake. Moving on to point number two, which is time management. Now this happens to a lot of students. Whenever they start answering, they take more time than they should in solving the first 10-15 questions. Aram aram se karte hai sare question. Now how does this hamper you? After taking too much time in the first 10-15 question, you look at your watch and you realize that you're racing against time. So then you make up your mind to quickly solve the rest of the paper. And this approach gives rise to various silly mistakes that I just mentioned. One significant portion where you lose out on much valuable time are the reading comprehensions where usually you read the comprehension line by line then go to the questions one by one only to come back to the passage to locate the question and finding out that you have forgotten the entire passage. These tiny time management mistakes either make you commit a number of silly mistakes or you run out of time to complete the paper or you don't get enough time to revise your paper at the end. So the best way out of the situation is to fix a certain time slot for every question in your mind. For a two hour paper, try to complete it in 100 minutes. Hence for 100 questions to be done in 100 minutes, you should keep a track of one minute per question. Extra time won't fetch you extra marks. At times we get so much attached to a particular question just because we have uh, studied that topic in detail, we have always made an effort to solve the mock test of that topic but on the day of the exam we are not able to solve it. So get over attached to the topic. Hence we keep wasting time over that one particular question. 5 to 10 minutes wasted over one question won't fetch you extra 10 marks 
but rather make you lose out on the next 10 questions which you could have attempted comfortably. Hence, time management as a principle in your time exam is very important. Let me add a bonus tip here before we proceed further. Do fill your OMR sheet alongside as you attempt your question paper. Complete 10 questions, take a break, mark these 10 questions in the OMR. Don't wait until the last minute to mark questions in the OMR as it is going to be very risky and you may lose out on marking the questions you have solved correctly in the paper. That will be the biggest regret you will have in your life. Before we move on to the next point, here's something I want to share. If you are preparing for TGT PGT English exam, then I have an amazing news for you. We have just released separate video course for TGT PGT exams. We are proud to announce that we are the only institute in India right now that teaches through animated videos. Our videos are designed using 3D graphics and animation which enhances the visual memory of the students so that they are able to retain the complicated summaries of novels, plays and poems very easily and recall it effectively during the exam. In our online course, we provide you with topic-wise video lectures with rich animation covering all topics in a step-by-step -step manner, which works even when you have not done any previous preparation. We also provide you with high quality PDFs and revision notes that cover the entire syllabus topics comprehensively and ensure that you qualify your dream exam in just one attempt. Along with video lectures and PDF, we also offer test series that consist of more than 3000 questions that comes with detailed explanations segregated unit wise. Plus after every test, you get a detailed performance report and your ranking in all India leaderboard, which will help you to spot your weak and strong areas. We cover all important topics, writers and works in our online course for TGT PGT examination. The detailed list of all these writers that are covered in our online course is available free of cost on our website arpitakarva.com. You can even download this free list and start preparing for your exam by yourself. If you are looking for past year papers of TGT PGT examination, then I invite you to visit our website right now. We have provided past 10 years TGT PGT exam papers free of cost on our website. You can simply go check out the paper, check out the answer key, download it and start your preparation right away. The link of our website and all our courses are given in the description box below. You can check out the course details from our website, even watch a free demo lecture, attempt a free demo mock test before you decide to enroll in our course. For more information related to the courses we offer, feel free to shoot your queries on WhatsApp number displayed on your screen right now. And me and my team will be more than happy to assist you. Moving to the next point, point number three, which is the elimination technique. It is one of my favorite tips as I derive it from the fictional character of Sherlock Holmes created by Arthur Connell Doyle in the 19th century. So Doyle in his work, The Case Book of Sherlock Holmes says a very famous line and I quote, when you have eliminated all which is possible, whatever remains, however improbable, must be the truth. You can apply these words to the four options that you get in the paper. After you have eliminated the wrong option, the one which remains shall be the correct one. Hence, whenever you are confused between two options, use the elimination technique to solve the question. Rather than being underconfident and taking a shot in the dark, the elimination technique will come handy as a smart guesswork and make your answer more probable. Moving on to point number four, which is the very, very important point, and that is to take a deep breath and relax. So the fourth tip is not panic. Now you will ask me, how is it possible to not panic in an important exam like TGT PGT? It is a tough one, right? Tell me one thing straight, my friend. Even if you panic, what is the guarantee that you will clear the exam? So just remember, do not panic if you fail to attempt a few questions. Your sole focus should be on attempting the paper in front of you and not think about which questions are going to be correct or incorrect. You will have ample time to think about these things once you leave the exam hall. So do keep in mind that examination is not demanding 200 out of 200 score from you or 100 out of 100 score from you. The cutoff generally hovers around 70% which is 140 marks out of 200. Hence, even if some of your questions are marked incorrectly and you realize that while attempting the paper, do not panic. You just need to clear the cutoff and a few incorrect questions 
won't make a huge difference. As you know, there will always be 10 to 15 questions in your TGT PGT exam, which you'll have no clue about. But that is how the paper is set. No matter how much you have studied or how many attempts you have had, there will be few 10, 15 questions which will always be a surprise for you. So don't fall into the trap of attempting all questions. However, you must attempt it entirely if there is no negative marking. But what you should not do is to think about previous questions you just attempted and waste your time thinking whether it was correct or not correct. Just focus on the question that is displayed in front of you. Moving on to the last point, which is related to the panic point I just mentioned. Dear aspirants, the last point is do not be result oriented. Even the Bhagavad Gita advises us with the theme of Nishkam Karm, which asks us to do our act and not worry about the results. Any situation you face in your life, you can always look back upon this teaching from Bhagavad Gita. When it comes to attempting exam in real life, you have everything you need at your disposal. Your mind, the question paper and the answer hidden between the options. All you have to do is just give your best and not think about the worst case scenarios. Even if God forbid the worst case scenario actualizes and you fail in the exam. Always remember that your life does not end there. You will have opportunities if not here then somewhere else. But a gate shall always be open for you. Just keep hope and give your 100% focus to every question you are attempting. For example, if you are solving question number 43, then you shouldn't be thinking about the answer you ticked in question 42 and neither think about what is going to come in question 44. This is how you will be able to do justice and give your best to every question. I shall leave you with a quote by Steve Jobs which I hope will inspire you just like it inspires me every morning. And I quote, all I ask is that today you do the best work of your entire life. Silly mistakes usually happen when you don't focus on the question flashing on your screen, but worry about other things. Friends, do remember the scene from Mahabharat where Guru Dronacharya is teaching archery to all the princes and ask them, what do they see in front of them? Somebody says that they see a beautiful field, someone says that they see a tree, someone says that he sees the leaves of the tree, but it was only Arjun who said that he only sees the eye of the bird and nothing else. That means his focus was only on what he wanted to achieve. So whenever you are taking gate or even other mock test of any other exam like TGT, PGT, your focus should only be on the question that is displayed in front of your screen. You should not focus on things like what if I'm not able to clear the exam? What will my parents say? My relatives and friends would make fun of me. All these things should not bother you. If you found this video helpful, then please like this video by giving it a big fan thumbs up and also share it with other fellow aspirants who are struggling with similar kind of questions. I'm quite eager to know how you felt about this video. Did you like it, not like it? Did you find it helpful? Please share your views in the comments below. Also, if you have any questions, any doubts, or if you want me to make a video on any other topic, then feel free to put that in the comment section as well. That's it from my side for this video lecture. I'll meet you very, very soon in the next video lecture. Till the time we meet next, happy learning, keep loving literature and stay tuned to arpitakarva.com.